He is immortal. Born in the highlands of Scotland 400 years ago, he is not alone. There are others like him, some good, some evil. For centuries, he has battled the forces of darkness, with holy ground his only refuge. He cannot die unless you take his head and with it his power. In the end, there can be only one. He is Duncan MacLeod, the Highlander. Chain. Now she doesn't come home all night. What the hell is this all about? Rebellion. Against what? We've been too damn good to her. She's 18, Craig. She'll outgrow it. Why? Oh, so she comes home. See what we have to deal with? Duncan. What are you, the reinforcements? Nice car. Someone in this family had to join the 20th century. Where were you? Out. Why didn't you call? Steve didn't have a phone. Steve who? I didn't ask. You mean you spent the night with him and you don't even know his last name? Come on, chill, Michelle. Your parents were worried. Give him a break. They're not my parents. You see what she always does? We don't deserve that. They're not, and they won't tell me who is. You know what? It's true. I don't know who the hell you are. Sure, why don't we go for a walk? She doesn't give a damn about anybody but herself. Like you do. You make me sick. Don't talk to me like that. Yeah, right. Get in the house. Go to hell. Stop it! I'll go after her. Forget it. If that's what she wants, let her go. Well, she wants it for you to stop her. I've had it. She says I treat her like a kid. Let her find out what it's like to be out there on her own. For six units, I want blood and gas to stack. Gotcha. 300 joules. Stand by, five milligrams epi. Clear? Clear. Nothing. Epi. Girl, don't you be down on me now. Okay, let's go in. 
300 jewels. Ready? Ready. Clear? Clear. Come on. What's taking so long? It might be a good sign. I should have stopped her. Why didn't I stop her? It happened. It wasn't your fault, Craig. She was so angry. I never should have let her drive away like that. Nancy. I was in the car. I was really pissed. Just hurry. God, it's flying in the car. I've got a monster headache. Michelle, come on. What the hell is this place? We look at dress. Oh, gee, thanks. That explains it. Oh, no. Duncan! In there! Why do I have Get to... Get in there and be quiet. Not a word. Mr. McLeod, isn't it? Oh, hello, Doctor. Hi. How are you holding up? Oh, better, thanks. Good. Your friends? Well, it's not easy for them. Yeah, I know. It never is. So, is there anything I can help you with? No, no, I'm fine. Thanks. No, I mean, is there a reason that you're down here? Me? Yeah. No? Yeah, well, actually, uh, I was looking for a friend. In the morgue? You mean I'm never going to turn 19? We might get to see a thousand. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. You're serious? You're telling me this is for real? I think you know it is. How long have you known? I knew this day would come since the first day I saw you with your parents. You know what? You know what? I think I need to. You couldn't have. No, 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 no. I, I mean, I think the way you're always paying attention to me, you're always watching me. I thought something was going on. Now you know. Oh, wow. 
Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> so, what happens next? I'll see you through it. Oh, I like that. You and me, together forever. That's not how it works. You do know I've always had a thing for you, since the first day of science. You were 11 years old. I'm sure early. Michelle. Cloud. Duncan, the hospital just called. They can't find Michelle's body. They lost her, for God's sake. Well, try not to worry, Craig. She'll turn up. How can that happen? How can they be so incompetent? I'm sure it wasn't intentional. Now they want me to come down to the morgue and look at Jane Doe's. Look, I, I haven't told Nancy, and I don't want to leave her alone right now. I'll take care of it. I hate to lay that on you. It's not a problem. Thank you. I'll check in with you later. Right. What are you doing? What you're saying is, I could down every bottle here and it wouldn't kill me, right? No, but you wish it did. I mean, I could basically do whatever I wanted to. Speed, smack, the whole candy store. You'll get the life you asked for. Yes, Duncan, but this one never ends. And there's always time to start over. It's not as simple as that, Michelle. We have to talk about this, all of it. Okay. When I get back. Where are you going? Your father asked me to go to the hospital. They discovered your body missing. Well, I'm right here. You don't have to go anywhere. End of story, okay? I have to go because he asked me to. Oh, I guess he's too broken up about it to do it himself. You can remember your parents however you want. The truth is they loved you. Well, can you just come back soon? I will. Just lock the door and don't let anybody in. Why, are you expecting someone? No. Well, then why are you being so paranoid? It wasn't an accident that I found you. Others might come looking. Wait a second, what others? I'll explain it later. Just stay put, okay? No. Stay put. Duncan! Mr. McLeod, how did you get this job? You're not the girl's father. Guess I'm a glutton for punishment. Well, I guess that makes two of us. Or maybe you're just one hell of a good friend. Someone there? Lovely.
You're like me, aren't you? Yes, you could say that. This thing I'm getting from you. Whatever it is, it's weird. Do you like it? It's like we're plugged in or something. Or something. I like your voice. Michelle. Axel. I like your freshness. It's a wonderful thing to be new. Yeah, right. You know, Michelle, your world's about to change in ways you've never dreamed of. I can handle it. And I can help you. With me taking care of you, Michelle, the times we could have. I don't need another teacher. Duncan McLeod. You're a friend of his? We're acquainted. He is, like, out of control with his taking care of me bit. Yes, he would be. But whatever turns you on. I didn't say that. He's out? Good. So, where should we go? He said to wait. I really shouldn't go anywhere until he gets back. Oh, you're such a good little girl, Michelle. Do you do everything you're told? No, I don't. But I'm pretty new at this thing, and he's showing me the ropes. Yes, I'll bet he is. The choice is yours, Michelle. You can either have a daddy or a partner. And why not both? Because I hate to share. When you get bored of Duncan treating you like a baby, I'll be around. Where you been? I thought I told you to stay put. You have it too. I didn't notice it at the hospital before everything was so messed up. Didn't notice what? I knew you were here. I could feel you. Works both ways, Michelle. You mean it's part of the deal? One of the many, including doing what I tell you. Oh, come on, Duncan. Don't be mad at me, okay? I just went for a walk. Who'd you go with? Hmm? You said I had it too. Who'd you meet? God with the names. You sound just like... You sound just like Craig. Michelle. Axel. His name's Axel. We had this connection, you know. I mean, it was really bizarre. It could have gotten you killed. Wait a second. I thought you said we were supposed to live forever. What you felt, what we feel, is how we recognize other immortals. How we prepare. For what? For combat. To the death. Been there, done that. Michelle, when another immortal takes your pretty little head, it'll happen again. For good this time. Oh, so is that what you guys do? Run around chopping each other's heads off? Until there's only one of us left alive. I don't think so. Michelle, I'm not your father. And this is a fairy tale! <laughs> Now you either learn the game or you die.
This is weird. I mean, I've actually had a fantasy about this before. I don't know. Somehow the real thing. Shouldn't there be more? Don't sweat the past. It's history. Right. I'm serious, Michelle. Now the real fantasy starts. You and I can recreate ourselves over and over again. You can be anyone you want, anytime you want. And I can show you how. I want to show you how. Why? Because I want to see the world through your eyes. Can we not guarantee that those who sleep in death will also be raised? For just as death is come by the means of man, for just as means and men all die from their union to Adam, in the same way that we will all be raised to life because of our union to Christ. I can't believe this is how it ends. It's not over. This is a sham. She's not there. It's an empty box. How can this be over when there's nothing to bury? It's not the body that matters, Nancy. That's not what you remember. It's her life. That's what you loved. That's what you're laying to rest. in a public place. I won't harm you. But you are one of us. But no danger to you. Would you buy me a drink? A miss. Sharon, you're very kind. And maybe I could get to know you better. We could be friends. As you said, we're in a public place. I have a room upstairs, number 36. Sharon, you're very nice and you're very beautiful, but I already have a date. And I hate to keep a lady waiting. What's your name? Duncan McLeod. Now, I really must be going. Help me. Please. For what wasn't the truth. Please. There's a man, an immortal, and he's been following me. And? I never learned how to fight. I don't even have a sword. Please, that's why I need your help. He wants to kill me, I know it. You could have asked without the games. I, I didn't think you'd want to help me without getting anything in return. I guess I'm not very good at it. I'll help you, Sharon. About your date. <laughs> She'll understand. I'll wait for you in my room. Yeah, I'll, I will be there as soon as I can. Yeah. 
Excuse me. Hello, Sharon. It's Duncan McLeod. Come in. Sharon, what is this? I told you you didn't have to do this. So, I almost had you, Duncan. But you cheated. Well, you know what they say about love and war. can't have her. I think that's up to Michelle. And she's so innocent. So lovely. She has a whole life ahead of her. Yes, I know. We'll be seeing each other again. Soon. Although some have died, Last of all, he also appeared to me, even though I am like one who was born in a most unusual way. Not smart, Michelle. Haven't you ever wondered what your own funeral would be like? They could have seen you. I guess everyone needs to know they'll be missed. Mom, maybe not him. I hope you live long enough to realize how wrong you really are. You know, I saw you and Axel. Are you guys buds or something? Or something. Michelle, I can't lock you in. All I can do is to ask you to please stay away from him. You know, maybe you're the one I shouldn't be trusting. That's too easy. Well, I'm still here, aren't I? Axel didn't cut off my head or yours. We were on holy ground. What's that? The only place we're safe. Whatever that means. All I know is I don't feel like a little girl when I'm with him. He's very clever that way. Supposed to seduce him. You're supposed to bring him here and put a smile on his face. Don't hurt me, please. You were supposed to separate him from his sword and leave the rest to me. Sorry. I'm trying to protect you, Sharon. If I don't take his head, he'll gladly take ours. Do you understand that? Sharon. Beautiful Sharon. I'm lost without you. You were once so innocent. So lovely. Sorry. Apology accepted. Goodbye. I need your help. Haven't we done this before? It wasn't my idea. It was for Axel. Is that how it works? You set them up and Axel takes their heads? You weren't the first, but you fought him. You got away. So can you, if you want to. I don't think so. After I became what I am, I would have gone mad if Axel hadn't found me. He showed me the world. He taught me how to be. The only thing he taught you to be is bait. There's much, much more to our lives than that. There's a boat leaving for London at 3 o'clock. I can get you on it. You'll come with me. 
No. Well, then who will protect me? You'll learn to protect yourself. I'll arrange for someone to meet you, to teach you what you need to know. You really mean it? Yes. People drift apart. It happens. He did love me once. Is that what he calls it? He took care of me. He kept me alive. Don't make any excuses for him, Sharon. You don't owe him anything. You don't know him. You're not going to change him. I'll come for you at 2 o'clock. Fine. I'll be here. Too bizarre. Duncan, people running around with swords, cutting heads off, living forever. Man, this is some bad acid trip fairy tale. It's not a fairy tale. It won't seem so bad once you learn to look after yourself. Or you know someone who will. I won't always be there. And who said I meant you? I'm serious. Well, so far, this immortality thing feels like nothing but a bunch of rules. You get used to it. At first, you're gonna have to learn those rules. Don't worry, you're gonna have plenty of time for everything. There's so much for you to do, for you to see. You can go to school, you can go to Tibet. I can get in sword fights. When you're ready, that won't seem so strange. Okay. Office. Get down. Hello, Craig. Come in. I'm sorry to come so late. I needed to talk. I didn't want to bother Nancy. Hey, yeah, I've told you any time. Huh? Have a seat. She tells me that it wasn't my fault. But that's a lie. We both know it. When these things happen, Craig, people look for reasons. They look for blame. But there's no blame here. You didn't drive her over that cliff. I didn't stop her. I always hated it when she'd ask who her real parents were. Not just because I didn't know, but because it made me feel like I wasn't. God knows I wasn't. Look how she hated me in the end. It wasn't about hate, it was about separation. Well, I just could not get through to her, and I... I lost it. Hey, I was there, remember? Children fight with their parents all the time. That's the way it is. You weren't out of line. She deserved it. You're not supposed to speak ill of the dead, you know. What are we nominating Michelle for a sainthood here? That's what she liked about you. You were honest with her. I always pushed her too damn hard. She wasn't my daughter. It was easy to stay objective. But she was just so much. Everything she did, everything she felt was bigger. I wanted her to do something with that. Not just wasted. Now she'll never do anything. It was all just gone. <laughs> she died not realizing how much I loved her. If I could just have her back, she could do anything she wanted. Craig, I think you should go home to Nancy. She needs you. You're right. Thank you. Duncan, thank you for everything. 
call you. Shut the door. It's too late. Duncan, all this time I was so angry at them. And it turns out that I am the one that has the, the big secret. No. I know what a bitch I was. Stop it. Stop it. But look at what I've done to him and he still loves me. Why would he? Because he's your father. He understood what was going on under there. You would have sent me the universe. I mean that. I told you you were special. You don't think I would have hung around this long if I didn't believe that? Save me, Duncan. Oh, God. I needed to hear that. I don't feel so scared now. Yeah, that's what scares me. What is this? I thought you just said I was special. I'm your friend. It's not like I've never done it before, you know, Duncan. It's not what we're about. Yes. Yes. Michelle, I don't think this is a good idea. What? I'm not teaching you. You need a better guide, someone closer to your own perspective. Someone like Axel? Axel doesn't care about you. Well, at least Axel doesn't treat me like a little kid. He treats me like his equal. But you're not his equal, Michelle. He may seem young and full of life, but inside he's old. He'll use you and feed off you, off your youth and your excitement. When Paris doesn't thrill you any longer, or the pyramids don't amaze you, he'll put you out as bait. You're lying. No, he's done it before. Axel would love me. Even if he did. You need to teach another little. What do you know about what I need? I'll take you to a friend of mine. You'll really like her. Her? We'll leave in the morning. You know, Duncan, that's a long time away. Don't you even think about it. You really are an old man. Go to sleep, Michelle. Okay. Fine. I'll use the couch. Two are gonna get along great. Fill her up, would you? Oh yeah, I bet we'll really hit it off. Me and some dried-up old teacher from St. Mary's School of Sword Fighting and Manners. Not exactly. Trust me, it's for the best. You know, Duncan, you really have a gift for taking the fun out of eternal life. It'll get better. I sure hope so. No, I mean your outlook. <laughs> Oops, almost slipped. You were gonna say my attitude. You know what, Duncan? That is dad speak. And you're pretty lousy at that, too. I gotta go. Where? Do you want to come with me? For sure, we're not enemies. Hey, baby, if you're looking for someone, I'm right here. Oh, yeah. You wanna go for a ride? Sounds good to me.
My turn? This is so cool, living on a boat. It's all yours. For real. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen Paris? Only in the movies. I know this great little hotel in the Seine. You wouldn't believe the view from the bedroom. And if we ever get bored of Paris, we'll sail south to Captain Thieb. I'll feed you oysters and we'll make love under the stars. Mm. Oh, you're going to spoil me. You deserve it. And all you have to do is trust me to take care of everything. So with all this traveling around, when are you going to teach me how to use a sword? You won't need a sword. You'll have me. Maybe you won't always be around. I've broken up with boyfriends before, you know. I'm not exactly your everyday boyfriend. What could you possibly want that I can't give you? Duncan said I needed to know how to fight, and he was going to teach me how. Everything in its own time. So you'll teach me? All you need to know. Okay, because Duncan said... Duncan's not here. I am. Go with me now. You have to say goodbye to your past. Okay. okay. Where the hell are you, Michelle? This is no joke. Look, don't flip out on me, okay? I just called to say I'm sorry for running out on you like that. All right, you're forgiven. Come home. I am home. Whatever line it is actually used to convince you, that's exactly what it is, a line. I don't think so. All right, Michelle. You don't have to come back here. Just, just don't stay with him. Look, Duncan, it's my life, and I just called to say goodbye, okay? And I'm sorry I was such a bitch to you. At least I'll be out of your hands. Just tell me where you are. Hey, Duncan. Listen, we're down at Cape Schooner. not going to try and talk me out of this. You came to kill me? Don't be ridiculous. Well, what's that for? It's for me. Get back on board, Michelle. Look, guys, you don't have to do this over me. This isn't just about you, Michelle. Did he tell you about Sharon and the others? He protected them right up until the time he killed them. Think I'd do anything to hurt you? Do you think he would ever teach you to use a sword? Michelle! Don't listen to him! Don't listen to me, listen to yourself. I'm out of here. I don't think so. He cheated again, Axel. I don't need to cheat, Duncan. Don't move. Duncan!
So that's it. They'll never know. It could do more harm than good. Yeah, you're probably right. God, my parents, why was I so angry? They're in your past now. It's time for you to move into the future. I was hoping to do that with you. <laughs> she does remind me of someone. I just can't remember who. I think we'll get along just fine. That's what I'm afraid of. So where are we going? It's an old abbey. You'll be safe there. It's holy ground. Axel promises me Paris, and you're sending me to a convent. You also didn't want to teach her how to use the sword. Oh, typical male sexist mindset. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. They'll always be Paris. I think a convent's all she needs. So have you two ever... Uh, that's none of your business. How was he? <laughs> we'll talk. Uh, no, you won't. Bye-bye, Amanda!